Okay, so I'm just getting this Stay Wet palette set up, which was something that was taught to me by Nicholas Wilton when I took CVP way back in 2016. And this has totally changed the way I paint because prior to that, I always used to paint in oil paint and the, the drying time of it slowed me right down because I had to wait so long between each layers and it wasn't really how I wanted to work. It didn't feel like it had any kind of life or energy to it. But equally, working with acrylics drove me crazy because you put them on a palette and they just kind of dry out and you don't have any time to think. And this gives somewhere in between. So it's just a tray and then you add paper towels uh, or an old tea towel does fine and then you put tracing paper over the top and then when you put your paint out on there it stays wet so that you can carry on working on your paintings for a long time but the funny thing about this is I just wanted to show you the joke about this blue paper towel because I ordered it online and you know those funny things online where you don't quite know the sizes so I ordered a couple of rolls of paper towel and let me show you what size I got. Basically, I got to this size. Now, you might not be able to see it like this. This is practically the size of a footstool. Let me put a regular tube of paint next to it. <laughs> so that's the size of paper roll that I bought when I got them online. And as you can see, the one that I bought in 2016, believe it or not, is still going strong, but is a little bit more manageable. So I've decided to break out the next big boy and I'm going to start um, using him to get him down to a similar size. So I don't know how you check your dimensions, but if you want to use this palette system, have a look at the size of paper roll that you're buying.